Hey guys, today we are going to be doing this closet declutter I was talking about. I'm going to show you what my part of the closet looks like and then I'm going to pull out my like regular clothes and try to justify whether or not I should be keeping them and get rid of a few things. But first let me show you my closet. So I really don't have like a ton of clothes. These are all my dresses and my t-shirts. Um, I have a spot here with some like pajama lounging shirts. I have some sweaters and stuff in here. Random stuff here we're gonna go through. And then I have a dresser that has my um, pajamas and underwear and stuff in the top drawer. Bottom or middle drawer is um, just all my pants and shorts. And then the bottom drawer actually has my massager in it that was in my favorites video a while ago. This is, oh, it's not even in here. Someone borrowed it. Um, but it's got my massage gun and then usually my massager goes in here, which is currently not here So I'm just going to pull out all my clothes here and then we're gonna go into this. Okay I have a bunch of clothes um, pretty much all my shirts and dresses and Some of my sweaters pulled out here um, But before we go into this I want to say I don't think I have a ton of clothes I'm not doing this necessarily because I have too many clothes but I want to only own clothes that I really like and I know that's not the case here um, so there's definitely some things I want to get rid of for a variety of different reasons and also um, I know there's some holes where I'm going to actually want to purchase a few things to fill some of these holes I know this going in this has been a really weird summer here it's been a lot hotter than normal and I realized I don't have like the attire for that. But I'm gonna do this like as quick as possible to go through and show you what's in my closet and hopefully get rid of a few things. So I don't know if this makes me a weird person or not, but I generally like to uh, arrange my closet uh, by color and I'll have like tank tops of a color and then the t-shirts and then the sweaters and then, then the next color. Uh, so it kind of goes in that order now, but I just kind of all pulled it out. So my first order of business here is a t-shirt. Um, this one's kind of drab and boring but also this is a really one bad one to start with because I kind of like it and I kind of don't so I'm not even sure what to do with this one off the bat we'll leave that one this is a cardigan that I got thrifting actually last winter and I really like it I haven't worn it for this last few months because it's been so warm but that one's staying uh, I have a box of sweaters actually underneath my bed that I haven't used for the last six months. I'm not going to go through those now. I want to go through those when I'm actually wearing them. Um, this is a little waffle knit cardigan that I wear fairly frequently. I really like this color. To me, I like mustard yellow is a perfect sweater cardigan color, so keeping that one. Now here's where we start getting rid of things. Um, I picked up this t-shirt a while ago and it's like a very light green. Um, and I just, I don't like it. I don't like how it fits. This is actually from Walmart. Um, this one's gonna go. So, one down. Now here's where they get tricky though. So I have a bunch of shirts that I've made on my, uh, through my booktube channel. Uh, this one says I closed my book to be here. I've got, this one's my favorite. The, it's got the book stack and it's in my favorite like forest green color. I really like the idea of these, but I don't like this t-shirt style. This is a unisex um, Bella canvas shirt and I want to do something different. I'm thinking about cutting off the sleeves or cropping it or doing something with the neckline. I'm going to kind of like do some kind of DIY hack with these and see if that works. Um, I have one more shirt actually. I also have the Booksmart one. So these three, I either need to figure out a way to change them so I'm actually going to wear them or else they have to go. So these are like on a they're kind of in a holding zone for right now. The next shirt is actually, so this one I'm wearing is from Old Navy and this one I got uh, from there as well. This is the pocket shirt. Uh, but this one has a hole in it because somehow I got stuck on a door handle, doorknob in our house and it's got a hole. So that one's going. Next up is this, um, I don't know, it's kind of like a bit see-through, I mean it's, it's actually a really see-through uh, shirt. I really like the colors. I'm definitely drawn to like the color blocking. Um, I've, def I've been trying to figure out my style lately, which is really hard to do when the current style trend is so far out of your comfort zone. Like I'm not into crop tops and sweatpants. Um, this one, I don't like that I have to wear a 
tank top with it, but I like it enough that I'm willing to do that. So I'll keep that one. This one's kind of like an iffy one for me. Um, I always like floral print. I don't really like how this one hangs, but th at the same time, I feel like it's currently um, filling a void that is in my wardrobe. So I think what I'm going to do with like this one and that first t-shirt that I had, put them in like a separate spot and see if I can make do without them. And if I can make do without them, then in a couple months I'm going to get rid of them. Um, that way, if I need it, it's there, but if I don't, then I'll know it's time to get rid of it. Next up is this hoodie um, that is kind of like, I don't know, it's like asymmetrical. It's just, I don't know, it kind of looks cool, but it's not very comfortable to wear. It needs um, a tighter, like, elastic in the arm and in the bottom. This one needs to go. It looks cute on, but it's not comfortable. Then I have a couple of these tank tops uh, from Old Navy. I actually trimmed them up a little bit because they were a little long. So I have this one that's, like, black with some, like, I don't know heather detail in it and then I have a black one as well. I wear these all the time if you can tell from my videos. This summer that's pretty much all I've been wearing. Then I have this shirt that I liked once upon a time um, but I've gained a bit of weight in the last six months and it doesn't really fit anymore plus it's kind of just like getting a little worn out so that one's gonna go. This is a t-shirt that I got from the thrift store but it's just a Walmart Joe shirt. It's very loose it works really well for um, wearing underneath a cardigan, uh, so I'm going to keep this one. This is a very thin little um, active hoodie that I got. Uh, where is this one from? Old Navy as well. I pretty much only shopped at Old Navy for the last year and a half because um, I could shop online and we couldn't go in stores, so uh, this one is so comfortable. I've barely worn it since I bought it because it's been so hot, but I really like this one. Okay, before I move on to my dresses, um, I actually went shopping this morning, which seems kind of redundant when you're trying to get rid of stuff, or like um, kind of, maybe redundant is not the right word, um, but you know, pointless. But I know that I need more like t-shirts and things to wear underneath cardigans uh, coming up for the fall. So I got this t-shirt, but it's kind of like sweatshirty. it's got like the tie, so comfortable. Um, got that. And if you can tell, I definitely have a color palette. I try to stick kind of like to the fall colors. I got a lot of black and gray, but other than that, I like burgundy and my favorite, favorite color is like olive green. So this, I don't think the color shows up accurately on the camera. Um, I got this shirt this morning with this cute little detail. And then I got another green shirt. Yeah, these green shirts will be in a lot of videos coming up for sure. Oh, that one just has buttons and it's super simple. So I think, I think that's all my shirts. Now we're going into dresses. One of my goals for this year was to wear more dresses. And then I realized like, I always wear biker shorts under my dresses because you know, like bending down for little kids and doing the variety of things, the wind, I wanna be safe. Um, and my biker shorts are not comfortable. So I'm trying to look for a new pair, but currently I have not found a pair. Um, but let's, Let's go into this. This dress I have had since my brother graduated high school. It's like the perfect little black dress, keeping that. Um, okay, this is a maxi halter dress, which, I mean, it doesn't look like anything. I like it, but um, I've worn it once in the last year and a half. So unfortunately, this one's going to have to go because I don't like it enough to wear it, apparently. And this one is a... What is this called? A swing dress? It has no shape whatsoever. When I have worn it, um, I wear it with a belt, um, but it, it just makes me feel really frumpy. So that's going. Then I have this, um, I don't even know what this is, dress from a few years ago. And it's a little too short for my stage of life, I feel like. So this one's gonna go. I haven't worn it probably for the last two years. Can't believe it hung out here so long. Um, this one, is complicated, let's see. So it's a dress and then I've got the slip for underneath. I bought this one for $5, probably almost 10 years ago. Um, it's seen better days. This one should probably go. It's uh, starting to fall apart a little bit. There's some um, pulling that's been done. Can't think of the actual word. 
dress is kind of wrecking, so I think this one has to go, but that $5 sure served me well. One of my favorite dresses these days is this one. Um, I bought this one from Joe Fresh uh, for my sister-in-law's wedding two years ago, and it's a like tank top, um, kind of like midi dress, but it's a bit thicker, so it works really well for a variety of different seasons. <laughs> okay, and I just, I can't get rid of this dress. This dress is, well, okay, no, that's just us, it's not dirty. Um, <laughs> this is from Target, and I got this dress 10 years ago as well, I think, um, something like that, and this is my, like, go-to dress in the summer. It's so comfortable, and if I'm traveling anywhere, I actually like to wear this because it's just really comfortable in a vehicle. So, while it might be getting close to the end of its life, this is not it. Then I have this t-shirt dress, which is also, like, the swing style. I wear it with a belt, uh, very comfortable once again, but I do wish it had a defined waist. Uh, but I do wear this one, so I'll keep this one at least until something spills on it or it gets wrecked in some way. Oh, and this one is probably going to be in like my fall favorites video because I love this dress. It's got um, kind of like a, I don't know, what's the sleeve called when it comes up above your elbow? And it's got this nice skirt, which is so comfortable. It has pockets. Um, I bought, that wasn't the pocket, that was definitely not the pocket. Where's the pocket? The pocket's right beside it. Yes, it's got these nice like deep pockets and I wore this one for my brother's wedding. I actually bought it off of Amazon and yeah, so comfortable. They have a variety of different colors or different patterns and I'm probably going to buy another one of those. This is a kind of like, it's more of a tunic. Um, it's kind of on the shorter side so I wear it with leggings but I like this one. This is my go-to in the winter. Once again, it's got like no defined waist, but it's got the long sleeves and I just wear it with a belt and it's got like a very Christmassy color. So I like to wear that in the winter. And then I've got another dress. This one is a maxi dress, a maxi tank dress. And I don't like the neckline. It's a little too high. Okay. I realized it was like really bright there. Um, the neckline on this one is just a little too high for me. So this one's going to go I think we're getting somewhere. Uh, one of the sweaters that I have kept out is just this like plain black one. It's got a little bit of a twist tie thing here. Uh, this is super comfortable and I'm keeping that. This is mostly just loungewear. Um, I have a Rough Riders. This is our provincial football team. I'm gonna get rid of this because I never wear that. And then I have a like kimono cover thing, which I also don't think I've ever worn. It's got a little floral that's gonna go and then these are just my leggings that are like lined for the winter so I'm gonna keep those I don't want to get rid of like duplicates necessarily if I'm going to be wearing them because I'll wear them out and continue on um, but I got a good little stack here that I'm getting rid of see it's doing pretty good so far okay and I will be honest I totally succumb to Instagram advertising I bought a couple dresses off of a website called Petal Lush earlier this summer and I don't know, the dresses look cute on the people, like they're still in their bags so that's got to tell you something. Um, but I think I was just trying to be a little too Little House on the Prairie. Also the actual material is a lot thicker. So there's this dress which maybe I'll like, I'll put up the actual picture of what it's supposed to look like. It doesn't look like that on me, it doesn't really feel like that in real life. And then I got another one. And I feel like I need to retry this one on because I, I'm not sure about it yet. And first I gotta figure out which way it goes. I'm gonna retry it on and I will let you know what I think of this one. Um, I feel like this one has a lot more potential, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna feel too prairie girl in it. So I'll retry that one on and it comes with a little tie as well. Moving on. Um, there was a season of scarves. Scarves were a thing. I have, you know, a few of them and I'm going to let them all go because scarves are out of style, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what style is. I don't want to wear them. They make me feel like I'm choking. I have a pair of shorts that I don't want to wear. I have my only pair of shorts that I've worn all summer. If I would have known it would be so hot, I would have bought more. I have a pair of black pants that look like leggings kind of but they're not they're thicker and I actually have two pairs I'm wearing one and I have this one 
I'm keeping those even though I have actual duplicates I paid $15 a pair years ago like more than five years ago and they're still going strong um what are these I got a dark wash pair of skinny jeans that I like and okay well obviously I just found a certain brand of skinny jean from Old Navy that I like I like their Rockstar super skinny and these ones are like the jagging kind of material um these are jeans that I don't like yes I don't like these ones they are not um they don't fit my waist properly so those ones are going these are also a pair of the Rockstar um jagging but in a bit of a different color uh these ones are mid-rise so keep those once you find like the perfect jean you gotta keep the perfect jean and then my last one is the Rockstar jean but these ones have a built-in warmth so there's like lining inside and this works really well for our Saskatchewan winters. Okay, so minus a few of like the loungewear things and stuff, that is every article of clothing that I own that is not my um, winter sweaters, which I only have, I don't know, I have less than 10 of those. So this is not like a super minimalist wardrobe, but I think it's one that I'm pretty comfortable with. There's a few things that might be going fairly soon um, there's a few holes that I might fill throughout the time, but uh, doing this on camera I think made me get rid of more stuff than I would have otherwise, and I don't think it, I will regret getting rid of these things. I think I was a little bit more honest with myself, and I think the stuff that I've kept is stuff that I really like to wear, so that's the point here. Um, now, the rest of my decluttering series is not going to be so like, let me show you every single item that I get rid of, uh, but I am like anxious to continue this whole decluttering thing um, I'm going to now like put my stuff back in my closet and have it kind of nicely organized and hopefully it will make getting ready in the mornings much easier because I'll like everything in it so let me know maybe if there's an area of my house you'd like me to see like to see me declutter next because that might get bumped on my list and we might do that next thanks for watching guys